Good morning all. Hope you're all keeping well and safe. I uh, just want to quickly share um, my newest video, newest journal that I've made. It's a design team project for um, Artie Mays using her kit, um, Nature's Remedies. I'm having a bit of trouble filming this morning, no matter how I do my setup, my tripod leg is in the way. Uh, I don't know, I think somebody's been messing about with my settings and everything. I sort of keep my tripod as it is, but obviously someone's used it and obviously not put it back as I have it. So no matter what I do, I can't get rid of it. So please just ignore if you can. Um, as I said, it's a design team project for Artie Mays. Uh, I'll put the link to the kit in the box below. Uh, it's a kit based on, um, as it says on the tin, nature's remedies. So it's all about herbs and healing and stuff like that. Um, that's something that's very quite close to my heart because I'm quite interested in stuff like that as both my mum and my grandmother was a very keen herbalist and I myself still grow a lot of herbs today, not just for cooking, but for various other things, um, for freshening linen, etc. But, um, ooh, it would have helped to have measured before I started, but I do know there's, I think, 130 pages in it, front to back. There's five signatures, um, quick measure, um, Ah, yeah, eight and a half by roughly six. Um, fabric I've used is something I picked up a long time ago and I loved it at the time because it just reminded me of wildflowers and a meadow. It's got lots of lovely flowers on it. Um, but when I got it, it was very white and I just thought it, it was too white and it looked new and I wanted the book to look as though it had been used and much loved by somebody who's obviously keen on herbs and wanted to use it as a notebook, like a field notebook. So I've coffee stained the fabric. Um, very simple closure, just some twine. Um, but it obviously if somebody preferred a ribbon or something, but I just thought twine went more with the natural element of it. It has got a little um, charm here, and these are like little glass balls, and they've got like a very little tiny what do they call them, like a dandelion head in it. Um, I've got two of them throughout the journal. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not on frame with this thing, but I'm just, like I said, having proper, proper trouble filming today. Those of you who know me, that's obviously no change there then. Right, it is made from craft hex, um, and I think all the pages in it, oh, it's really not in frame, is it? Oh, sorry about this. Honestly, I must be the world's worst person for filming. Right, where are we? Oh. Please try and bear with me. I may have to scrap this video altogether, but I hope I don't. <laughs> right. Um, I've, um, I've just done a little pocket. Took a, what's it called? Pocket, we'll call it. It's just got a little journaling card and there's a few little um, notebooks throughout the kit. These, this is, just says field notebook um, and this was a collaboration kit with Tracy Fox. Um, two ladies have both uh, got together, designed this, uh, this fabulous kit and I tell you now, it's massive. But I'll link both Tracy's and Andrea's um, below. But that's a little notebook for some extra journaling. I think obviously if you're into herbs you'd like to keep the progress of them and what you use them for. I love this page. It's just got various little elements in it. Just um, a couple of fabric swatches throughout. This is from an old herbal book that I found recently. Um, I just thought it was pretty. That's also, it was called the book, famous book of herbs but it's very, very old and I had to laugh at myself, it's a book about herbs and healing and everything and I did find lots of cigarette adverts throughout throughout it which sort of amused me. Oh, as well as um, Nature's Remedies, I have used Artie Mays' um, Eco papers in it as well, I just thought they sort of went perfectly with them, with the kit. Here I've just got um, a pocket made up from Calico, just a few bits of um, wool and string on it, some tags more journaling cards 
I won't take everything out because it flaps. I'm already up to five minutes and I'm trying to be quick here. <laughs> Introductory notes on herbal remedies. Uh, Centre of the first signature, just put two little tuck spots there with journaling cards in. Uh, envelope with a tag. I have left this envelope open for journaling. Just gives, I think, a little bit more space for writing if you're into writing. Um, I am going to list this journal today in my um, Etsy shop. Haven't done it yet, but as soon as I film the video, I will do. Um, it's looking to be a nice day here. The sun's out, so I'm trying to hopefully get out in the garden here because we've had such torrential rain lately and it'd be nice to get out and do some work. Just on the other side of that little herbal book. I've left lots of writing space in this. Sorry, I think I've cut out most of this. Put my neck. It's just some more little um, swatches of fabric. Let's say these pages are absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's rosemary on them. Um, just lovely little text and really didn't do have to do very much to this kit it was in fact the pages were just so pretty i couldn't bring myself to, co to cover them or put anything on them here i've just made um a little pocket up using corrugated card um, a couple of elements from the kits a couple of uh, tags more journaling space oh I'm more fingers and thumbs <laughs> This is from a book, um, I think it's called The ABC of Flowers and there was lots of um, nice, um, like I said, ABC, it's got, each letter's got um, a flower or a herb, but W was for wood sorrel and I just love the colours in it, so I've, I've put some of this in it. Um, another little tuck spot with a quite a tall slim tag in, extra writing space, how lovely is that? I love the colours in here, they're very fresh spring-like, summer-like. I am going to uh, make, make myself a journal using this kit as well because I do a lot of gardening and I make notes of when I put my herbs and my flowers in and what I do from seed and what does well so I thought that would be perfect. And what I like about this kit, there's lots of little um, elements like this in where you can just um, make up other stuff. Just collage a bit here and put some extra scraps in for journaling, a uh, little tuck spot with some cards in, another tag, but I just think it gives you a little bit extra room for keeping notes etc. Some more though. This was um, another piece of that fabric, um, but I just loved it, it was so pretty. Little tuck spot here I've made up just using a um, tea bag, some scrap paper, shoved a couple of tags in, more uh, fabric. Because I won't point everything out because it is quite um, obvious what it, everything is. This is um, some more of that. That was a lovely book I picked up. G's for Great Bindweed which I think is quite an invasive weed. Well, it is in this country. Just put a little bit of burlap and trim. Here I've got a belly band with um, another one of these little booklets. I've just added extra journaling paper to. A tag. A couple of uh, tickets. Like I said, the kit is absolutely enormous. All these little... Um, extras do come with it and I just love these I just think they're so I mean you could even just pop these in a bag if you were just going out for the day and you didn't want to lug a full journal with you because I've got several small things that I do take out with me when I'm out and about sometimes um, some Edith Holden this has just got a little envelope Centre. I think I'm up to about my I'm out to my fourth signature. Yeah, I think I am. Here I've just got another little pocket where you could just stick some little cards or notes in. 
for the herb. But this eco paper is lovely as well. You really have to do absolutely nothing to that. Edith Holden, some more eco dyeing paper. H is for honeysuckle. Little tuck spot with. Um, they've also got some of these really large journal and catch, which I like me so for like a sort of a daily notes and stuff. Pretty are these. The kit is absolutely lovely. I just love how it it pops out all the colours and these for eyebrow. I've just made a, another pocket out of that um, fabric I picked up. Just put a couple of um, journal and cards um, and tags. Just put a few glossy accents on that one. Ooh. I still haven't got over the thrill of not having to go to work on a Monday morning. Since I went part time, I only do now Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and every Monday when I get up and I know I don't have to go to work, I still get that buzz. Um, it's a decision I wasn't sure I'd made the right one at the time, but so my only regret now is I didn't do it years ago. I just love the extra long weekend again. Just gives me time for journaling and stuff. Another one of these little um, charms. Like I said, got a little dandelion seed head, whatever you call them inside. Just a bit more ribbon. Here is I've got um, an envelope. Um, I just thought, and I've used the back of it as a tuck spot for another of these jumbo tags. Um, the little journaling card. Uh, that was the front of this book. Uh, a flo that was it. A floral ABC. And it's just, I didn't really want to cut it up, but I just thought, keep buying books to use in journals and then I don't cut them up. So I braved it and cut it. And my own, oh no, I'm still not on the last signature, I thought I was. It is for Anemone. It's a lovely book, actually. And it tells you all about the plant and I just thought I'd keep that page together. D is for Daisy. Just a little fabric snippet collage. more of that eco paper which is absolutely beautiful and you can write over it another one of these um herbal papers edith holden some journaling space tall tag in a pocket like i said i think both ladies have done an absolutely beautiful job on this kit um well it's just lovely and I love this page as well. It just looks so autumnal and it's got lovely butterflies and leaves, vines. Love it. And like I said, the kit is enormous. All these uh, tags and everything come from the kit. Little um, envelope. Tuck spot. Yeah, this was a book. It's called The Case for Herbs and it's a nice little book. I mean, here's all about sciatica, um, chest trouble, backache, eczema, etc., tonic herbs. Um, here I've just got a little, um, it's Edith Holden with um, a quite tall journaling card. They are all backed with either tea stain paper or something from the kit I've used. Um, so flip out there with um, another envelope. That's the other side of that book. And these I've got put in, um, in fact I've got this for myself, um, I think I got it off Pinterest, not quite sure. It's Herbs for a Tea Garden. And I do grow herbs um, for my tea garden. I've got quite a lot of these. I've got lemon verbena, I've got lemon balm, bergamot, chamomile. But I just think it lovely. And it also tells you um, what each herb is good for. Like chamomile reduces inflammation, improves sleep, lowers stress level. So I shove them in. Um, and you could just note, put some notes on the back as well. 
So I just thought sometimes people wonder what sort of um what herbs are good for what. So I just thought I'd put um just just pinned it in so it can be removed. Love that page too. Just another uh, little bit of fabric. Um just a little bit of stamping. I mean, I really didn't want to do anything more to that page. Just wanted to sort of showcase the pages, really. Little tuck spot with um, some more journaling space. I'm really sorry. This I know this journal is so not in frame. I can see it on my watch, but oh. just put up with me, won't you? <laughs> um. Some general notes about herbs. In fact, as the video's got on, this has got worse. But I'm so near the end of it now, I really don't want to mess anymore with it. Here I've just done a little tuck spot with the, the tickets and there's a couple of tags, journaling cards, scrap paper. It's just handy for keeping little bits of notes and remedies, recipes. And we're just coming up to towards the back end of the book now, and I've just some more fabric snippets. Um, a herb, how to make a herb pillow and hair tonic and extract of rosemary. It's a lovely little book that. Um, another one I was loath to cut, but needs must. Another of these giant um tags and at the back I've just made a little pocket where I've put in um, another little journaling card and I've just put here a companion of herbs um, just stuff that's good to plant together um, like I said more space in the back to journal and that's it I think I've got through without my phone actually ringing um, like I said, it's quite chunky, um, but it does squash down and you can tie it. Um, front, I've just left, I didn't really want to do much with the front. I wanted to keep it so you could see the fabric, really. Sometimes I think I sort of overcover the fronts of my journals and you end up not seeing the fabric. And But I thought the fabric was so pretty and natural looking, I want to keep it. Just made a little book plate up, it says Herb and Herbal. Um, thank you for watching, um, take care, talk soon, bye.